Okay, this one's on the auto ranging clamp meter and it's digital. Now you see the clamp on top, that's a Fluke 333, and we've got a dial in the center, readout uh, down there towards the bottom, and the leads come out the bottom. Uh, this is pretty much the standard meter you're going to see in most usage for HVAC and a lot of other things too. Now let's take kind of a close up of this thing so we can see each one of the positions. Okay, you can see the dial now. It's in the off position. Uh, when we turn it to volts, you can see the voltage position there with the little squiggly on it. That means AC volts. I was reading uh, in the display, it's reading AC volts too. If I want to go to DC volts, I will go there. Now, notice on uh, this, the two different lines there. We've got a, a straight line, a horizontal line, and then dotted underneath. That is for uh, DC volts. One of the things you've got to be careful about, if you're reading DC volts and you want to read AC, it will read zero and vice versa. So if I have it in AC volts and I'm reading DC it won't read and I got it in DC volts and trying to read AC it won't work. Can give you a, uh, an idea that something is off when it really isn't. So we got to be careful about that. Okay above here we've got that little goofball symbol for ohms that kind of upside down U or I say it looks like kind of a light bulb on a base uh, and it's also got what is a sound thing those little lines up there so uh, if I am using this as an ohm meter and I have a very low resistance to flow then it'll beep at me so it tells me what we call continuity meaning the the wiring's good to wherever I'm going. And the last position up here is right there. That is uh, AC amps. Now that's read by the clamp. So when I uh, close the clamp around one wire, you can't close around two, you gotta close around one wire. And if I do that, then I will read the amperage going through the wire very very useful tool. Okay I'm going to be testing the ohmmeter on this thing. Now if you look you can see we're in the ohms position here we're showing that funny U down there and the OL which we will normally see whenever there's no continuity. Now to test to see if everything's clear that I don't have a problem with the leads, I can simply short them. And it's going to beep. And it should show well below one ohm. I'm showing about one, well, I'm not showing any ohms at all. Okay, now I'm going to test this little part. Now this is a limit switch and it should normally be closed. So if I was to put my probes across this, I should be able to hear a beep. Okay, I'm reading the same thing. Now, I've just put my probes across this silly thing. Okay. Now, I will try it again with something that uh, has more resistance. Okay, in this case, we're going to test the resistance of something that has a little more resistance than just a switch. So, I'm going to take it across this part here, which is an ignition control. And you'll see, it's still beeping. But I've got 15.7 or 15.8 ohms. So it's showing a resistance. And we'll try with something a little higher resistance next here. And I'm going to place the probes across it. Now you can see uh, we've got 358 ohms. This is something with fairly high resistance. Now the ohm meter on this doesn't go especially high. It goes to about 1,000 ohms. So uh, 
it's not good for higher readings than that. But we can read this, uh, it's a coil on this little relay. Okay, next we're going to test uh, AC voltage with this meter. But before we get into that, I want to give you an idea of what uh, these meters do now. Now, I'm in the ohms position. If we look up close here, we can see that my dot is in the ohms position. And I'm going to be checking the power at this outlet. Now if I put the probes, I'm going to put them across this uh, plug, it's a little easier. Now you see it, it kind of got pissed at me. Because I'm in the ohms position and I should not be checking volts with it. The older meters, if I did this, it would have either blown a fuse or killed the uh, meter. Okay, so. Uh, these meters uh, kind of protect you from yourself so you don't destroy the meter when you make a mistake. So we're going to run this thing down and we're going to put it in volt. Okay, now we put this thing down into volts AC. Now here again, I'm going to take a look at this and make sure where it's at. Okay, you can see we're in volts AC. Now, we're set up to check volts, so I'm going to put my probes across this plug that I know I have voltage on. Now, I've got 119.8 volts AC. Now, if I were to take a 9-volt battery, now that's direct current. Will it read on this thing? It reads two tenths, which is telling me that's kind of like a ghost voltage. So it's not reading DC. It's on AC. It's not going to read DC. So we're going to change this. And we're going to put it up to DC volts. Again, I'm going to get you close so you can see that. And that's got the straight line with the dotted line underneath. So now, if I go to volts AC, or volts DC, excuse me, and I put it across here, now it's not going to read anything. So it's in the wrong position to read it. But if I put it on here, it's going to give me 8.4 volts. And that's a 9 volt battery. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and check this thing in amps. If you note, we are in the amp position. That's the A with a squiggly thing above. And that is for AC amps. Now, it's reading zero. And I'm going to go ahead and put one of these wires that's going to a lamp through here. And if I turn the lamp on, see it's still reading zero, but if I turn the lamp on, now it's reading four, four tenths. I can move this around in here, and it doesn't seem to make much difference. Uh, as long as it's clamped one wire. Now you show that, see that four tenths of an amp. I've got one wire clamped. Let's take and clamp both of them. Now read zero. You need to remember this. On AC clamp meters, it'll cancel out and it'll read zero. So the one wire putting voltage one way or amperage one way uh, is canceled out by the one going back. So remember, one wire only in the clamp. Now these clamp meters can't remember for sure but yeah this one's 400 amps and 600 volts so this will do up to 400 amps this is what we mostly uh, 
do our uh, amperage readings with because it's so fast. I don't have to take anything apart. I don't have to put the meter in, in uh, series with it or anything like that. This is the one I get out first. And I can do most of my readings with it. Um, and I'm going to clamp circuits like this to find out if they're actually working. So that is the uh, auto ranging clamp meter. Now you've noticed we have not had to put any range in any of this stuff. We just put it on and it goes. Uh, by far the easiest type of meter to read. And that is the AC clamp meter which is also a multimeter.